One of the major duties of our program is to work on restoration projects, doing habitat restoration projects in the estuaries and along the coastal plain of Texas. And to get these projects done, we need a, a wide array of resources that can't be brought by one particular entity, Parks and Wildlife or other entities. So working in partnerships is a way to get this done. Jamie embodies Texas Parks and Wildlife land and conservation efforts. He is able to play a leadership and a partnership role. He has taken uh, our goal of increasing coastal habitat restoration and protection and focused that on partnering and leveraging about $20 million for over 5,000 acres of protection on the upper and mid coast. We work with Jamie and his staff a lot and they've really been critical for, for the successful projects that we've seen implemented here in Galveston Bay. Jamie is the vice chair for one of our technical advisory committees, the, the committee that is responsible for habitat protection and restoration. And through his leadership, we've actually made considerable progress since 2000. And North Deer Island is a great example of that, how he brought this project to the subcommittee. Partnerships were forged and federal and state dollars were identified. We're at North Deer Island. It's an important workery in Galveston Bay and the upper Texas coast. 18 different species of birds utilize it for breeding each year, and up to 35,000 pairs a year use it. Over the last 10 years, uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife has been working with the Audubon, Galveston Bay Estuary Program, Galveston Bay Foundation, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and Texas General Land Office, and multitudes of other partners to work on addressing some erosion issues on this island. I think one of the biggest pluses to doing habitat restoration in Galveston Bay is the partnerships. On this project, North Deer Island, Jamie brought uh, the Galveston Bay Foundation in to provide uh, volunteer assistance in planting the marsh grass that you see around me right here. A major hurdle to clear is that everybody kind of has their own specified interest, whether it be fishing or hunting or bird watching. While they may have their own particular interest or focus, really everybody's just trying to accomplish the same goal. So I think by kind of communicating amongst these groups and kind of bringing them together and focusing their energy and their constituent energy, I think we're able to go and accomplish broader goals and bigger and better restoration projects.